In this video, I'm going to be telling you about every single ability in Blocks Fruits, as well as some secret abilities that you might have not known existed. So starting off, these are some abilities you should already be familiar with. I'm talking about the abilities from the Ability Teacher. The Ability Teacher is an NPC found inside the cave at the Frozen Village and near the Magma Village quest giver. He allows you to purchase three different abilities, and each ability costs a different amount of money depending on how good they are. So the first ability, Air Jump, basically lets you double jump a total of 10 times, and this varies depending on what race you have, but for most people it should be 10 jumps, and this one costs a total of 10,000 belly to buy. The second one is Hockey, and this basically just creates a black aura around the character. It changes the amount of damage you dish out and the damage you take. And this ability costs a total of 25,000 belly. The first stage of the aura covers half of your arms, and the second stage covers the full arms. Stage 3 covers the torso and full arms. Stage 4 also covers the head. Stage 5 covers the full arms, torso, head, and half of your leg. And the final stage, stage 6, it covers your whole body. And the XP needed for each of these stages is completely different. But if you want to max out this ability, you need a total of 60,000 XP with your hockey. And you can also purchase different colors for this from the color specialist. If you're a rich person with Robux, then you can just directly buy it from the place underneath the cafe. If you want to buy it with normal money, then you have to wait for the NPC to spawn. The next ability is called Flash. Step. It basically just lets your character zip from one place to another. You just have to place your cursor in a certain place and then you click the key R and it just teleports you there directly. And if you have the human V2, the cooldown for this reduces to 10 seconds instead of the normal 15 seconds. And you can also teleport twice as far, making it extremely overpowered if you're a human. And this ability costs a total of 100,000 belly. But in my opinion, the best ability you could buy from here is hockey. And the reason for that is that this is something you absolutely need to complete the game. Meanwhile, flash step and sky jump aren't 100% necessary. But I still recommend you guys buy all of these. These are the basic abilities that everybody playing the game should definitely have equipped. Next up, we also got a pretty popular ability, and this one is Observation. Observation is an ability that lets you dodge incoming attacks from enemies, and it also lets you see enemies through walls and other solid surfaces. And the distance you can see them from depends on what its level is. The way you get this is by talking to the Instinct Teacher, who's found at the top of the temple on Upper Sky Islands. And to learn this ability, you need to be at least level 300 or higher, and you have to kill the Saber Expert. It costs a total of 750,000 belly, so make sure you have that cash ready. When you buy it, you get a total of 2 dashes, and this is the level 1, and 2,121 XP for level 6, which gives you 7 dodges with increased visual range, making you see a lot more than you normally can. And then once you get 2,824 XP, you reach level 7, which is the max level, and you get a total of 8 dodges. You can actually increase the amount of dodges you get by changing your race, or if you equip the scarf, you get after killing the Doe King. This one literally increases your observations range by 10 times, making it a really OP accessory for observation users. Moving on, we actually got Observation V2. It's something that was added in Update 15 and you have to be in the third seat to unlock it. And the way you do it is by completing the long quest with many requirements from the Hungry Man. And you have to completely max out your observation ability first, which requires you 5,000 XP on it. And it lets you see the player's level, the fighting style they're using, the sword they have, the fruit they have equipped it, and what gun they're using. And you can see all of this at the same time. Observation V2 actually recharges your dodges faster than V1, literally 10 seconds faster. And it also has a way bigger range than the V1, letting you see people that are really far away. And this also gives you a less blurred vision. So you can actually see the people you're fighting much better. And in my opinion, Observation V2 is going to help you a lot more in PvP because it's much better than the V1. Okay, so everybody knows that there are a few different races in Blocks Fruits, and we're going to be talking about some of the abilities you get from them. So for the human race V3, you get an ability that's called Last Resort. It lasts for a total of 6.5 seconds and has a 20 second cooldown. Good thing about this ability is that it increases the damage output by a huge amount, and it's really good for PvP, especially when you're losing in a fight. A bad thing about this ability is that it cannot be used as an initial damage boost, but other than that, I think there's a pretty decent ability if you use it in the right circumstances. Okay, moving on to the Rabbit Race. When you unlock the V3 for this race, you get an ability that's called Agility, and it does exactly what it sounds like. It boosts the player's movement speed to 4 times their normal movement speed, and it also boosts your dash length slightly, so when you click Q to dash, you go a little bit further. This one also lasts for a total of 6.5 seconds, but it has a 30 second cooldown. In my opinion, I think the human's ability is still a little bit better for PvP compared to this one, and the reason for that is you just move around a lot faster, and if your opponent has really good aim, it shouldn't be a problem for them to hit you. The thing about this ability is that it literally makes you faster than the Light Fruit's Shining Light ability. It's really good for traveling, chasing others, and pretty decent for PvP. But the bad thing is that it doesn't buff anything besides speed, and the duration is also pretty short. 
Moving on to the Angel Rays. The V3 ability for this one is called Heavenly Blood. That's a pretty cool name. So basically what it does is it buffs the player's defense by 15%. Also heals 20% of their maximum health. It gives you a 10% maximum energy increase and 10% natural regeneration increase. This one also lasts for 6.5 seconds and it has a cooldown of 20 seconds. Good thing about this ability is you can be made into a literal tank. And if you combine this with the Phoenix Fruits healing ability, it's literally going to make you unstoppable. This can be really good for Sky camping if you want to regen a bit of your health in pvp pretty bad thing about this ability is that the only thing this is useful for is pvp and you can't really use it for anything else because you're not going to be taking that much damage when fighting npcs but depends on how good you are at the game so good luck using this ability moving on we got the shark race and the special ability for this one is called water body and it boosts the player's defense to any incoming attacks by 80 percent which means you only take 20 percent of the damage it lasts for a total of 6.5 seconds but it has a 30 second cooldown a little bit longer than the other ones. A bad thing about this ability is that it does not reduce damage from non-player sources, stuff like lava and water. It's going to be pretty rare to encounter those, so you should be fine. And obviously this ability can be countered if your opponent literally does an inhumane amount of damage to you. Example, if you're like a level 1000 player and you're fighting against someone that's max level. But if you're playing the game right, that shouldn't be happening a lot. Okay, so next up we got the ghoul race, and the special ability for this one is called heightened senses. And basically what this ability does is it reduces the player's cast cooldown by 40% and their regeneration speed, damage, and defense by 15%. It lasts a total of 8 seconds, which is longer than all the other abilities mentioned so far. But it does have a 30 second cooldown. If some of you are wondering what cast cooldown reduction means, it basically reduces the amount of time it takes to use an ability again. So let's say controls V move for example. You have to wait a total of 20 seconds to use it again. But if you have heightened senses activated, then it only takes 8 seconds to use it again. Which means when you're in PvP, you can basically just spam all the abilities. And it's also a pretty good counter to the rabbits abilities. Because you can't really outrun millions of abilities. But a bad thing about this, like another ability mentioned before, is it's long cooldown. But it might opinion for the buffs it gives you it's definitely worth it okay so moving on to the cyborg race the special ability for this one is called energy core it boosts the player's defense stat by a total of 30 percent and it also creates an area of damage lightning effect around the players who does a bunch of damage to people that walk into its range damage for this ability starts at zero damage and it scales up by 0.65 every 10 levels which means if you're level 2000 then you should do 130 damage per tick a really overpowered thing about this ability is that it's really good for breaking observation which means players that you're fighting against basically can't use any dodges on you and since it has a really long cooldown if you're destroying someone in a fight they can kind of just run away from you after this ends and it doesn't provide any extra buffs outside the damage and defense but overall still a pretty solid ability next up we got a secret ability that not many of you might have known existed being able to summon cbs <laughs> And some of you might be wondering, how is it possible to do this? If you reach a total of 10 million bounty or honor in blocks, which you get this ability. And basically what it does is it lets you summon up to a total of 3 sea beasts all at once. But keep in mind, it only works in water that's in the second or third sea. And the amount of health and damage the sea beast does completely depends on the level of the player. If the player is max level, then the sea beast should have a total of 34,500 health. And the sea beast spawned in by players do not give any extra drops like normal sea beasts would. Because that would be kind of OP to farm. Them. And the sea beast will literally demolish any NPC or player that's next to them. Overall, a really overpowered ability. 